the Backyard Conversations podcast. What's up, fam? Welcome to BYC. Thank you for being here with us. Today, I want to talk to you about a topic that may be a little bit frustrating. Is uh, I don't know if you have been in a situation where you constantly face defeat in a certain area of your life, and you're not sure whether it's an attack of the enemy or God has sent you there. But today, we're going to talk about a key component that can get us to the victory line, that can get us across that line. Uh, but before we start talking about this topic, I just want to say that we are BYC, Backyard Conversation. We talk about relevant topics related to youth and today's uh, and in today's culture as well. So thank you for, for being here with us. But I'm here with my boy, JG. Yep, yep. And we're missing one, but... <laughs> He'll be here soon in the next upcoming episodes that yeah. we're cooking up. But yeah, man, I've had situations in my life where I um, faced defeat plenty of times and I kind of gave up in some of those areas. Like being a Christian, bro, sometimes like I feel like being a Christian, people like take that lightly. And it's one of the hardest <laughs> things that you can ever take upon, mm-hmm. you know. It, there's plenty of verse that kind of like tell you like pick up my cross yeah yeah no that's tough <laughs> yeah <laughs> that is tough because it, it basically means in a in a sense not not only but you know like that includes suffering you know pick up your suffering pick up your yeah. pain pick up your your baggage you know like you know he's saying what jesus had to do and that, that bro that's that yeah that's, it's you know. it's it's tough yeah and in life you're gonna suffer you're gonna face battles you're gonna face uh war and most importantly spiritual war mental war and and some of us i feel like we kind of don't value the things that god has given us to fight back Mm -hmm. like one one of the greatest weapon that i have in my life that i know that i can use all the time if i'm facing some sort of um i don't know uh, some sort of battle or some sort of challenge is fasting right i i I practice fasting um not only to bring breakthrough or to worship God. But when I'm ask, actually like fighting something or fighting some sort of thought or even in a situation, I use that to set kind of like the ground and gain ground in that area. But there's plenty of things. But one thing that we, that I feel like Christians have like completely devalue <laughs> one because of the industry, I guess, because yeah. there's so many there, songs. Yeah. It's like a whole industry now at this point. Yeah, they're, 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 yeah, it's not really, it's kind of like desensitized. Like it's the meaning has been taken away. It's just kind of like there's this formula, this like format that's always pushed that makes money. And that's, and that's <laughs> it. That's what it is now. Yeah. <laughs> and it makes you feel good, but is it actually edifying your life? Yeah. And we, we're talking about worship. We're talking about worship. We're talking about music, melodies. There's many I guess ways to worship, right? Uh, for example, crying can be worship. Making odd noises can be worship. It can be like a claim or to towards God. Um, and when I mean like weird noises, I mean like when you're crying and you can't even, you know, uh-huh, breathe yeah, yeah, yeah. and and stuff like that. Or you're trying to like speak out a sentence and it doesn't come out. But <laughs> there's plenty of worship, right? And Worship, I feel like sometimes it has been taken and diluted just to a song. And worship yeah. is life. Like, you, you you worship God in every single yeah, thing the that you, you do. Live. Yeah. There's so many ways to worship. Yeah, that, that's, a, <laughs> that's a, the, a thing I've thought about a lot, too, is that nowadays we think worship is just singing a song or playing a song. I'm like, you can worship when you're praying, when you're walking out in the day. Yeah, I don't, it doesn't have to be a song or a... Yeah. It doesn't have to be a. You don't, you don't even have to be a slow song. Like the format too. Like it's like a slow, you know, uh, emotional song. Or yeah. Something like that. <laughs> like, yeah. Worship. Sh- worship can be you abstaining from from sin. That's worship. Worship can be you taking the decision to not curse anymore. That's worship. Worship can be you taking the decision to not look at certain things anymore. That's worship. Why? Because you're denying yourself and you're putting God first. But um, it is frustrating sometimes, right, when you do worship and you don't see results. And there is a story in the Bible in Judge 20 or Judges 20 that we kind of see this dynamic play out where the people of God are 
technically in the promised land and they're living their lives right and they're all like in different tribes and each tribes has different region but something happens a levite starts traveling and he goes through territory of benjamin which is another tribe of israel and during this trip he stops at a town and he had his concubine with him and that town was so wicked that they wanted to do dirty things with him <laughs> to put it in simple words think, right? uh, think of what happened with lot basically yeah almost similar story so they grab his concubine and they basically raped her if <laughs> can say that sa <laughs> they sa her i don't know um, i mean it's what happened I mean, yeah it is yeah 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 so until she was dead so she yeah. dies she she the next morning it's kind of graphic <laughs> It says yeah. they, they essayed her all night. It says that like word for word all night. And in the morning, she was like stumbling to the door and she just collapsed and, and died. Yeah. That's, that's, that's pretty crazy. Yeah. It's, it's sad. It's that's, very, that's insane. That's pure evil. I mean, yeah. that's, that's basically, you know, um, saying yes to your evil desires, your personal desires, and not caring for that human being to the point where, you know, they they lose their lives and to a certain way bro like to a certain way that's happening here and now but not in in a physical way but in a in a way that people push material and contact that 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 is that is damaging our youth that is damaging our country and they could care less as long as they get the bag and they're literally killing people like spiritually they're literally killing people spiritually they're li literally taking people's lives away Oh, there's people that are extremely addicted to things uh, because somebody just wants to make money make <laughs> for their own pleasure. Yeah. So anyways, going back to the story, right? So this Levi, he gets so pissed, so mad that he does something very radical. Like, it's insane. I don't even know. Almost, like, almost crazy. <laughs> yeah, I don't even know. Like, I guess he he must have been very pissed. No, he, he was. I mean, I think he, he was just trying to make a statement, like a very yeah know, like, a very graphic statement yeah, graphic. so he grabs her cuts her into pieces and sends it away to each each of the tribes of israel to kind of like send a message yeah i guess i feel like i've seen that in the movie before where like some guys just cuts up body pieces and mails it to somebody but yeah, yeah he cut up body pieces of his concubine sends it to each tribe's you could say um figurative doorstep and it works though because then they're all like holy crap this has never been seen and yeah, all the days of israel and, and all of them come together so it did work actually yeah so so they come together and they ask benjamin to release the men that have done this and they refuse to do it and they have no other options but to fight them but to eradicate those people because they lost yeah, their they way were, yeah they lost their way so they go to war so they go it it, it is it is beyond a moral standard, right? That you got to understand it, that, that this surpassed the moral standard. Like these people did not care about life. They just wanted to do what brought them pleasure. So they go on, refuse to, 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 to surrender. So now they have to fight. So all of the tribes of Israel against Benjamin. Mm -hmm. What was the city? Ge Gebeah? Gebeah? Gibeah, like? Yeah. Gibeah, something like that. Yeah. Uh -huh. So, they um so they they get together and the conflict just starts getting heated and heated and heated and they go up to worship god and to seek guidance from god and here's where 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 i want you to pay attention if you haven't read this it's judges 20 is literally the whole chapter and it's interesting because they go up to god seek guidance from god they actually get it mm -hmm. they go to war Multiple times yeah and they lose uh-huh and some of us think that we've been placed at a certain area in our lives because of the enemy or because of something that the enemy has done when it perhaps it could be God pushing you to seek him the right way. Because this is what was happening here. God sent them to war. They lost. So God will send you to places. <laughs> it doesn't necessarily mean yeah. that he will give you the victory the first time. 
and I don't know who I, who needs to hear this word, but somebody needs to hear this word, that you shouldn't give up just because you are defeated once. Like you have to continue to seek guidance and to continue to go up to the mountain to seek God in in like a, you know, in a sense of biblical work where they went uh, yeah. to the mountains. And you have to come to God in a manner that is honoring to him. But sometimes we go to Sunday which is our mountain, right? Which is our sacred day. And we just sing songs and then call it a day. And we don't even know what we're doing. And we just go yeah. about our day. Yeah. A lot of times or if you're in like, let's say a figurative war, right? Like you're going to war with maybe temptation or something at, you know, maybe depression or, you know, whatever battle or struggle you're facing, you know, we'll go to that mountain numb, you know, like we're just kind of like not there. We just sing a song like we always do. Eh. You know, we don't give it any meaning and uh and you leave with nothing changing, you know? Yeah. Um we don't it, we it, don't it's crazy. <laughs> we don't use the tool we got, you know. Yeah, and 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 that's uh and that's comp- I, I wanna I, I hate to say this, but it's been normalized to just go to church and, and sing some songs off a book and or off of <laughs> the hymnal. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> or off a scream, if you wanna say it. Yeah, just, the, the you know just read them and and go about your day and the sad reality is that it's been normalized like it's been like hey we just do it it's it's become a routine yeah yeah yeah, yeah. we lost we lost the the ability to to be sensitive to what worship can do in the middle of the fight in the middle of our lives and so these people go to bethel and they seek guidance once god tells them to send the tribes of judah first they lose then they go again. But one key important thing that you can note when you read this is the fact that they motivated each other. So we need people to motivate us to continue to go into the worship, to, to the presence of God, to worship him. Especially when we have faced defeat, when we have that taste of giving up. Because it's easy, right? That the, 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 the quick solution is just to give up when we are facing yeah. obstacle, when we're facing opposition. It is easy. It's the the most. Yeah, I don't. It, quick it's getaway. like when you think about it, it's so easy to just let go, mm-hmm. just drop it, just yeah. give up, just let everything crumble. Oh, <laughs> it's I'm not so easy. I'm not gonna continue fighting this because I'm not. I'm no match. So I'm just gonna continue giving into it. Oh, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not gonna fight depression anymore because it's just too much. I'm just gonna live my life depressed. Oh, I can't overcome anxiety because. It's it's too tough for me. I, yeah. I, I I just or sometimes they they like with anxiety or depression instead of like oh, I'm just gonna live depressed. They like they they ruin their lives. Like oh I'm just not gonna go to work. I'm just gonna quit my job. Yeah. I'm just gonna you know <laughs> I don't know not go to church anymore. That Something that is like true. That, you know, like it'll have other effects like consequences. Like it's so easy for all the buildings to just fall and tumble and yeah. your whole life to just yeah. But so, then it's so easy to just then you deal with care. the consequences. Yeah. You you <laughs> you gonna end up like oh I'm not gonna work then you have no home like it's so easy yeah. to just be homeless you know just yeah. lose everything you have exactly and and it, and trust me I mean uh, we're not talking like we have not been through addictions or we have not been through depression or anxiety like we know what it's like like I'm I mean I I know what it's like dude to be depressed to have suicidal thoughts to to hear voices to the point where you can't even figure out what you're thinking. Mm-hmm. I know what it's like because I lived through it. And I just want to tell somebody, whoever's listening to this, that you are capable of overcoming this with the help of God. But you have to position yourself in a way that is honoring and that is, that is towards your advantage to receive what God has for you. The people of Israel were just coming to God with guidance. They were not offering sacrifice. They were not fasting, which in the past years, that was like one of the key elements of winning Mm -hmm. battles, fighting battles against enemy. One of the key elements was fasting, prayer to God, offerings to God, burnt offerings to God. You always see this in in the previous chapters uh, when they're trying to gain the promised land. Uh, Sometimes they didn't even eat and they went to fight. And God gave them the battle. <laughs> yeah. How did they get strength? 
don't god man it's supernatural but they lost their way and it was not until they provided the right offering it was not until they provided the right worship that god gave them the victory and god not only gave them the victory but it switched their mentality so in other words if you choose to worship god with true spirit and true heart he has the ability to change your mentality to change the strategy to change the way you are looking at the problem and sometimes we don't we don't we don't do this because we're just singing a song mm -hmm. we're just following the lead of the worship leader that is just singing a song yeah i don't know if you want to get into this now too but like a lot of times the songs aren't really <laughs> they're not worship <laughs> <laughs> they're, not really they're, they're, like, they're just uh yeah they're just talking about you and your life and your struggles yeah it's sad dude it is yeah not all of it's really really worship and even some of them like they're not necessarily bad but like the subject of the song like it's just i feel like there was a moment where all every song was like oh my gosh you know this happened to me you did this for me 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 this me that that you know like oh you get i received yeah. all this, like okay what if he didn't give you all that stuff would you still be worshiping him right like where's the i mean you know worship shouldn't be conditional right mm -hmm. right like what we were saying worship and defeat you know like what if what if on, in that song let's say that song writer <laughs> didn't get all that stuff didn't get taken out of whatever you know would they still worship I don't right know. like yeah. i feel like there was a season where it was like all about like my the, struggles the just us and then because I, I feel like back then it used to be more like more god-centered not mm -hmm. that that isn't god and like there's nothing wrong with those kind of songs but like everything was just that yeah and then we weren't looking the other way of just god's sovereignty and his holiness and him just being god not, exactly. not you know unrelated to me unrelated right. to my struggles my unrelated pains. to a problem the fact that yeah. god is who he is is worthy of worship right like we just kind of forgot about that for, exactly. for a second yeah. you know i don't know it's it's um the fact that we would just rely on that one industry to like kind of like complete and fulfill like this whole really important aspect of christian life of worship like we we, we don't really get the full picture a lot you know no and i actually i was trying to create a playlist not too long ago of worship worship playlists i have multiple right but the ones that i have like they're old school <laughs> songs uh so i was like yo let me let me let me do something new right yeah, let me do let me it. let me update this playlist so let me create a new one and i could you not man i was having a hard time finding songs that actually worship god like you're saying god alone like forget like the oh i'm going through this and you're gonna show up i'm gonna see you know you come through mm -hmm. yeah. to not say anything <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can i'm, gonna, think of a song I'm gonna see <laughs> yeah but yeah. like you know it, it it was hard for me to find genuine songs that just didn't focus on the struggle of the moment didn't focus on you know me and only focus on the press like the, the amazement of god like god himself mm -hmm. or just the the name of jesus like i was struggling to find songs bro yeah. i'm not even gonna lie bro <laughs> it's I, true. I was <laughs> it's not and it's not that common anymore yeah it, it's 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 crazy it, it's not it's not good but i mean we don't want to bash those other songs as yeah well. it's like, not that there's something wrong with them it's just we're not seeing the whole picture like there's a there's a bigger there's a grander scheme here and there's other aspects of worship that we need to recognize right like um um i don't know if you want to move on to to what they what israel did right to yeah we can't around. we can't but what you can gain from this comment is maybe you should check your playlist to, <laughs> to see what kind of songs you have yeah. and to see if they're actually worshiping god and not worshiping you know the circumstance that you're going through and how he his actions right you mm -hmm. worship god's actions instead of god yeah yeah that's a good point it's, yeah. yeah it's like i mean they're they're nice but like at the end of the day he's god he's <laughs> yeah like <laughs> yeah so he's your father so maybe maybe it will be a good a good time to kind of review the songs that you you, you use mm -hmm. to to worship and review the songs expand you know your methods of worship yeah right this is a much bigger picture than a lot of us yeah this realize. is just a small topic we're just trying to emphasize this particular story and how israel kind of like went back to its roots so what they did to bring breakthrough is they fasted number one 
they cried out again because that's what they did in the first place mm-hmm. and on the second time they, they cried out again yeah. and plus you have to remember this is war so they, it says they they lost what 20 22 the first time 22, 22 and then it was like 18 other like people are dying yeah like, people, people are, are yeah, are, people are dying fam. Right. <laughs> and it's a little bit confusing because yeah because i mean god, i would be confused yeah because god is sending <laughs> me but i got my people dying yeah he says yeah go fight them and then the twenty thousand people die yeah you know, you'd be like you confused yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah it's like kind of shocked am i am i really hearing god but no they're confident that it, it is god leading them so they go and they worship and they bring burnt offerings and they bring an offering of peace and it's interesting to see this because the battlefield was not won in the battlefield the battlefield was won in bethel the victory was won in bethel it was not won it was not it was not fought in the actual fighting ground Mm -hmm. it was fought in bethel with their worship with their weeping with their prayers with their fasting with their sacrifices yeah the good news that we have now is that we don't have to present a peace offering and a burnt offering because jesus has already done that for us the the other good news is that we can gain so much more when we choose to worship in the middle of our battles when we choose to believe in god in the middle of our battles i don't know if you if you've been in a situation where you're getting oppressed like mentally and you're getting like urges and you're getting like ah uh, like mm-hmm. i guess the thoughts of doing something that you're not supposed to do or you're getting into a state of mind that is very negative one of the first things that i do is i put worship music and it completely changes the atmosphere and and it rewires my thoughts Mm -hmm. in a matter of minutes if not seconds yeah yeah and a lot of people will say especially when they're first kind of like I mean, because, you know, a lot of people grow up Christian, but they never really lived the life, right? So when they start taking it seriously, they're like, oh, I changed my, my playlist. I changed what I listen to. And then, you know, like they always notice a change, you know, like putting aside what we just said about worship music, right? Yeah. <laughs> uh, the, you know, the, you can still notice an evident change in your, like, your mindset, uh, the clarity of mind that you have and, and all that. Um, yeah, worship is powerful. It changes. It changes your mind. It mm-hmm. changes your your way of thinking. It gave Israel a new perspective and a new strategy. And you guys need to wake up to this. The music that you listen to is literally shaping your thoughts. And some of you, all you listen to is Bad Bunny, and you listen to Drake, and you listen to Ken, bro. Let me let me stop. <laughs> but you listen to all these secular artists, and if you listen to the lyric, some of it is very depressing. Yeah, and a lot of it's just meaningless. A lot some of, of it, yeah, some garbage. of it, you can't even relate like, to it because you're not a thug. You're not a gangster. I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> I remember on the, like, what, 2000s where every pop song was just, like, the same clubbing party yeah. topic where it was like, what does this even mean? Like, why? why? <laughs> like, it, what? It's crazy. <laughs> and I don't know, I don't get it that when you are, like, when you are... I don't know if that's the thing. Maybe you guys can comment on it. But when I was not a Christian, like when I was not following Christ, I uh, I when I was sad, I used to listen to sad music, and it made no sense. Yeah. Like if anything, I should be li- listening to something opposite, something uplifting to uplift my mood. But there's plenty of testimonies. I mean, search them up. The the effect that music has on people, and more than ever now, the industry is literally killing our youth, bro. Like some of these these artists they have no good intentions and they're rubbing it right in your face yet you keep doing it you keep listening to them you keep Mm -hmm. funding them that's the industry they're industry plants it's sad because that's going to lead you to defeat what's going to lead you to victory is worship towards god if you are in a situation right now where you are sad feel depressed lonely feel like your heart got broken the best thing that you can do is worship. One of the best things is worship. Because that's going to change your strategy of fighting the circumstances that you are, that you're in. That's going to change the way you think. That's going to change the way you feel about yourself as well because it edifies you. It literally edifies your soul. Mm-hmm. So, it man. It will bring you comfort. Yeah, it will bring you comfort. Mm-hmm. I mean, this people of Israel, they fought back. And they made it seem like they were going to do the same thing, but they 
got a whole different strategy they fled <laughs> it was like their whole like mind was just like expanded oh we eyes. can do this wait we can use this <laughs> battleground to yeah. actually help us win the battle and that's exactly what happens when you go into the presence of god and present yourself as a living sacrifice and you worship with true heart is that god enables you to see and to use what he has given you to win the battle so they actually use the same you know land that they were fighting in they ambush them they they pretend that they're running away and they ambush them and all of a sudden they 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 set up smoke to come out in the city to confuse them and it totally worked it confused mm-hmm. them they thought they were defeated and just the thought of being defeated allowed them to be defeated mm-hmm. so yeah. they, they it, were defeated. It, uh, it put fear in them and they started running away and all that yeah yeah so like the first time they go they fight, they lose, they come back, and then it, they, it says they ask God. He's like, should, should we keep fighting? <laughs> and yeah. He's like, fight them, keep fighting. So they go back, and they lose again, and then they ask him again, Lord, should we keep fighting or should we just stop? Like, just flat out, like, should we just stop fighting? Because <laughs> we're losing a lot of yeah. people. And then he says, I think that's when they, you know, put all the burnt offerings, they did the worship, and then he says, fight them again tomorrow. I Fight them again, I will hand them over to you yeah. tomorrow. So then he finally says, no, you're going to win tomorrow. Yeah. And he gave they, them the seed. And then they have this whole, I don't know how they came up with it, like you're saying. Like it's crazy, right? you know, They had a whole ambush set up. They set up the bluff the, with the smoke. And, and they won. And they won. And then all the, the, the what are you, the Benjaminites, right? Yeah. They start fleeing. They start running away. And they win. You know? It's they, crazy. They lose their, their morale, you know? like they. It's like when uh, in a video game, like if you, like something similar in a video game where it's like a, you're fighting like a let's say like a, a a tribe or something. I don't know. I'm trying to think of a game, but uh, that I've played, but I don't remember. But usually there's like a leader, right? There's mm-hmm. like the the boss of that like that tribe or that that gang or whatever. And usually in the game, when you kill the leader, the rest of the the the, the fighters will like get scared and kind of start running. Okay. You know, so they kind of yeah. cut. They kind of like they cut the uh, what is what's the saying? Like they cut the head off the horse or something. Yeah, like that. yeah. So like their their whole morale just went off. Yeah, went away, and that's how they won. It's crazy, man. Yeah. But it's crazy how one single moment can change everything. Yeah, like you were saying, it wasn't one when they did that ambush or anything. It was one when they worshipped. When they went to Bethel. When they burnt the offering and, and all that stuff. It's insane. Yeah. yeah. That's so what changed. Their mentality. Because at the end of the day, God, God was the one who decided, okay, yeah, now you're going to win. <laughs> he yeah. waited. He's like, no, not yet. Not yet. You're going to lose here again. And then, okay, now now you can win. And yeah, that's what, but it was their attitude. Uh-huh. It was when they, I guess, I don't know if they got cocky and said, I can do this by myself. Yeah, I, Maybe they did because, I mean, I would ma- imagine they're probably like, no, we need to bring this to justice right now. It's you one know, like, against everybody yeah, too. It's yeah, like, they so were it's probably like, confident, like 11 versus one, like they're going to lose. I mean, even the numbers, it says there were 400,000 yeah, soldiers they had a lot, bro. from Israel. Uh, and then in the Benjaminites had like, what, 20, 30, something like that. Yeah. And what, like 700 young men. And it specifically says that the men that they sent to war, they were they experience. were experienced. Uh-huh. So part of the thing that you need to note as well is that experience will not gain you victory. Like you can be an experienced Christian and lose the taste of worship and then rely on your spirit and your experience, and that that's not gonna give you a victory. Because it happens. It happens that oh I've seen this before in my life. Like, oh I've seen this, I fought this battle again. Uh, so I, I already know what to do and we get confident mm-hmm. and there's plenty of Bible verses that, that, that tell us not to get confident in ourselves and our own strength because surely we will, we will fail mm-hmm. when that happens. So don't get overconfident in your ca- capacity to fight spiritual things by yourself. You fight spiritual things with spiritual weapons. So, it, it it's just the whole story is interesting because it, there's little notes there and here and hints here and there that kind of relate to what we go through in every single uh, in in our lives mm-hmm. in, in circumstances in in our lives opposition that we face that we think that we're going to fight by our own means when in reality we need to seek God and we need to get guidance from God worship and get get the strength that we need yeah so fight your battles in Bethel. don't fight them in the battlefield be proactive and fight first 
in the spiritual realm so that it can happen in the spirit in the in the physical mm -hmm. what's that what's that movie war room yeah yeah <laughs> Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Go to your prayer room, yo. Go to your, Go to your prayer room. room. Go to your closet uh, and, 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 and and lock yourself there. Uh, fast for two days. Yeah. Uh, but now that, now that you're saying that too, uh, I think it's important to note that their obedience as well. Yeah. Right? Israel's obedience to not just like... Because it looked like they, they were like starting to question. They wanted to like, okay, should we just stop? <laughs> yeah. Know? And they kept going. They they obeyed God. You know, at a certain point, they were like, okay, let's let's worship. Da, da, da. He said, fight them again. And they, they went again. You know, they obeyed. Okay. He said he's going to do it tomorrow. Let's do it, even though we lost like 40,000 of, our, of right. our men. They didn't lose faith. You know, and, and obedience, I feel like, can be worship as well. It you is, yeah, yeah. Obedience is a form of worship. And so that was important because uh, if they had just stopped, I mean, that would have been it. They just lost. You know, yeah, the that. evil would have never been purged from Israel. You know, Benjamin, the tribe of Benjamin would have still been there maybe claiming more victims who knows yeah and it's crazy because they actually preserve the pride mm -hmm. the, the the tribe uh they do something um in the in the next chapter yeah that actually guarantees that that tribe is going to continue growing um but it, it's crazy but we brought this little segment to you just to remind you that worship is important we we can't take that lightly worship is one of the biggest weapon that we have in our hands as christians and if you're fighting a battle right now i encourage you to worship god the right way don't be careful with the songs that you listen to or that you used to worship make sure they're not edifying your feelings and your emotion they're not uplifting your emotions only but that, that uh, they're actually worshiping god they're actually you know emphasizing the power and the majesty of god um and not only your feelings and your emotions because that's why sometimes you continue to go into the same patterns because we continue to listen to the same thing and it's like yeah that's not really worship man <laughs> <laughs> actually now that you now that we're talking about this what just came to mind uh a uh, oldie it's a song that i just thought of the the i guess if you don't speak spanish you're not gonna know it, but um alaba dios isn't that oh, what yeah. that whole song is about yeah it's just worship like, God, in yeah. the battle worship yeah da -da -da -da. It, they were simple and straight to the point. Yeah, the whole the whole song. Go listen to that song, guys, and you'll see what we're talking about. <laughs> but Pentecostal people, <laughs> background people would know. But. Yeah, I mean, well, it was really famous. I'm pretty sure a lot of Hispanic uh, churches would play it or would listen to it, yeah. But that's that's what the whole song was about. Now that I'm thinking about it. Yeah. Like, if you listen to the verse in the pre-chorus, it's like in the battle, worship, when you're... I forget what it says. It's kind of like, when you're crying, worship. When you're down, worship. Yeah. Yeah. It, it, yeah, it's 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 pretty pretty <laughs> simple and straight to the point. Yeah. But, anyways, we we're trying to encourage you to tell you that a key element to winning your fights is to worship the right way. And when I mean the right way is that you truly come to God, knowing number one that the sacrifice has already been done for you. You don't need to bring no burnt offerings. You don't need to bring no uh, peace offering. That has already been done through Jesus Christ. The other thing is to note that the effort that they put in, man, with the fast, it was not even a whole day fast. It's they, they, they fasted like almost like half a day if you kind of uh -huh. like look at the scripture. So if you want to do a fasting too, you can. Uh, I encourage you to do that if you're, fa if you're facing something that you want to overcome or you're facing difficult one of the biggest weapon that you can use is to fast um but man pay attention to the songs and the music that you're listening to worship and make sure they're actually actually worshiping god and not your emotions and your feelings mm -hmm. and another thing too is like sometimes we put it like background which is fine but like you know every now and then like actually actively listen to this stuff. the lyric yeah and you know question like it. really you know analyze the lyrics like internalize them um one you know like is it really worshiping god and if it is you know like really just let yourself lean into that like really align yourself with the message of that song and worship you know like yeah. i mean when was the last time a lot of us just sat down at home and just worshiped like and we didn't just play lyrics. like a song in the background while we were working or something you know yeah or, or just driving you know like we actually sat down we worshiped him i don't know Start ball out crying, <laughs> <laughs> snobbing. Jerry knows about that. Knows yeah, 
No, I'm not gonna like. I, I love music, and that's one of my go tos. I mean, mm -hmm. every time I feel tempted, every time I feel that I'm fighting with certain thoughts, which is constant. I mean, we we're not exempt from that like even though we are in the body of christ doesn't mean that we're not gonna face difficulties yeah and that we're not gonna suffer with negative thoughts and anxiety and depression and all that it, it, it we do i mean it's part of life we, yeah. we have stress we have daily lives we have kids we have work we have bills to pay so it's like something has to keep you grounded and that thing in my opinion can only be God. And if that's not it, then eventually you're going to run out mm -hmm. and find yourself in a pickle. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, in a pickle. Nice. Yeah. But anyways, uh, I think we're going to call it a day. Uh, this was just a short clip just to uh, encourage you. Like I said it before, encourage you to worship, encourage you to come out of your shell and maybe explore uh, different worship songs and also acknowledge that is a powerful weapon that we have been given it's something that can change your mindset and there's plenty of sermons and biblically speaking there's plenty of backup that that is true like worship can change your mindset can change the way you think um the way you act so be careful to what you listen to if you're going through something worship god with all your heart with all your strength and yeah man i don't know if you have anything else to say no nah, man you got it good um i would say just uh it doesn't have to be alone either you know invite your friends over to worship together yeah yeah you know, that's, we're that's one body good, we're one community at the end of the day if you look at like the story they were they were all together and they know, and i'm sure other, that yeah. lifted them up to be come together and just worship that's a good point yeah. you know um uh yeah i mean it, you don't have to wait till the that one worship service you know worship night at the end of the month or something just you know invite some folks Doing over yeah. you know the bible says uh lead a quiet life but then it says confess your sins you know confess your struggles to one another talk yeah. about your pains and your struggling um so you know get together with your community and just worship you know? yeah i, I feel um, like we don't do that enough yeah it's not really something that like, we're not like i feel like the christian community has issues with being genuine yeah and we also need a little more not like fellowship in the church but fellowship like outside, outside like in yeah. our homes you know spending time just spending like you know it doesn't have to be at church that we talk to people and everything yeah you know but yeah i mean take advantage of your community i'm sure we you know if you're a christian if you're in a in a, in a church you know you got people that care about you that you know love you that um are concerned about you know what whatever you're going through take advantage of that that's a blessing for sure. um that a lot of people don't have and uh yeah i mean fight with your worship yeah. fight yeah use the right weapons but anyways it's been real we'll catch you on the next one peace see ya